Hello, watching Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone's watching. Facebook Live, that's the one you and then. Uh, can you see me there? there I don't have a couple of devices running, but do let me know what is what. So, there we are, Gavin McCoy, lovely to have you with us. Now, remember, I can also invite you to talk to me in the situation we're in. So, Spike Nesmith. If you would like a chit chat, then I can invite you. So there we are. I'll just invite a few people. Get us going. There we are. Send out a few invitations. Fantastic. And uh, that's that done. There we go. Hi, Scotty. Good evening, says Chris Kelly. And uh, we've got uh, Julie and Scott. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Julie and lovely to have you with us. I'm just wondering. We have to put this little chap now because uh, I've got separate devices tonight. So after that, how does that look from the point of view of you guys? Is that any good at all? No, not really. A wee bit high there. So there we are. Excellent. But we've got some uh, some new equipment with us tonight. So I hope you're enjoying that. And there we are. I can broadcast to you on that setup now. Um, wonderful. So, if you can hear me, if you can see me, do let me know. Very, very important that we do that. And I will get the chit chat going. Hi, Scott. It's Moira Murray from Kilwinning. I listen to you every night that you're on. I liked it better when you were on talk radio. I followed you every radio station you've been on, but the best was talk radio at night. There's no presenter that could get the audience you get. I've been seen to talk radio to get you back on, Moira Murray. Thank you very much. What a lovely, lovely, lovely thing to say. It is so important. Marvellous. Scotty, you look like Bruce Lee. You talk and then your lips move. So there we are. Now, we might have a bit slow. Do tell us what's happening. I want lots of feedback. Hiya, Scotty, says Lorna Smedley Hardy. Eddie McKenna says, hello, hello, Eddie. Dinky do to you. Lovely to hear from you. How's your old pal Tommy keeping, says Eddie. I don't know Eddie. I haven't been in touch for some time. Susan Forrest says, hello, hello, Susan Forrest. Dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us. You're all watching Scotty McClue. So marvellous stuff. Baby Scotty, I hope you had a good weekend, says Thomas Hamilton. Hello, Fred Bonnie Montrose. It's a safe fact, says Robert McHardy. Rab Hill, marvellous stuff. Good evening, Scotty, says D. Gourley. Good evening, D. Lovely to have you with us. I look as if I'm looking up there a bit, don't I, at that little camera. So I shall look down. I wonder if I can get the two about the same height. How's that? There we are. I've got lots of devices running tonight, guys. So we've got slightly different equipment on the go. So do tell me what is what. Very, very important there from that point of view. Angela and Akita, come and join us, of course. It's Scotty McClure, and we're live on the big one, the one everyone's watching, the one everyone's talking about. Lots to talk about tonight. There's been a fair bit of um, argy-bargy on the internet about the existence of God, about religion, about orange walks, all that sort of thing. So if you've got a point of view that you want to put, do feel free to do that. Good evening, Scotty, says Charles McLaughlin. Good evening, Charles. And Eddie Doby Sr. is there. How marvellous is that? Now, I'm going to have to do something about this little camera because it looks strange. My eyes are at a funny angle, aren't they? There we are. Is that any better? Okay, how does that look, guys? Do let me know how that goes, and uh, we shall see what is what. Uh, all right, Scotty boy, how's it going? Brilliant weather in Scotland. It's about time. Alan Frey Aloha. Come on, the hearts, he says. Did you too? It looks good, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Thank you, Thomas. Can you see me and hear me, though? Very, very important. Can you see me and can you hear me? Because I'm getting different information from the two different devices here. What made the apple turn over? It saw the orange walk, says Mark Whitfee. Very good, Mark. Always like to start with a wee bit of a joke, don't we? Scotty, the picture's a bit fuzzy. Yeah, I'm just wondering which one you're watching on, to be quite honest. That's the thing. I don't have device one and device two. I should let you know. Scotty, can you see I get well? 
to uh, my wife Yvonne, get well soon. She tore her calf muscle last week and we're due to fly out to Corfu in two and a half weeks. So that will be a relaxing holiday if the doctor lets her. Gordon Drysdale, I say hello to you. I'm so sorry to hear about Yvonne and I hope she gets well soon. That's what I say. So there we are. Um, so I've got different uh, folks listening on different uh, devices tonight. This is amazing. Stephen Burt McDowell, hi Scotty, how are you? We might bring another device in next week so that we can uh, stream live on YouTube as well because this show is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's absolutely massive right across the internet. So Facebook Live, just a tiny part of it, I say. Very well, Stephen Butman there. Lovely to hear from you. Uh, religion or not, we all end up in the same place, says Eddie Doby Sr. I had a guy um, trying to argue with me about the internet and changed everything. I thought, how can the internet change God? It's only been around a few years. You're loud and clear over here, Scotty, says Mark Crawford. Where are you, Mark? Do let me know. If you're in India, Africa, Canada, America, Tasmania, Madagascar, the Arctic, the Antarctic, Russia, China, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, let Scotty McClue know. Um, are you the king of the internet, says Dylan James Berry. I would have to say yes. I would have to answer in the affirmative, Dylan James Berry. I am indeed the king of the internet, the first lord of the internet. So there we are. Uh, what do you talk about in your show other than reading comments and saying hello? Says Dylan James Berry. We're talking tonight about religion. Does God exist? We're talking about should we let the orange people walk? So there you are, all that stuff. We talk about anything, Dylan James Berry, so feel free to pitch in there. And I'm also finding out today that I can actually invite people to come on the show and discuss with me. So if you've got a camera and you're on Facebook Live, a camera and a microphone, and you want to have a chat with Scotty McClue, let me know and we shall have you on. Robert Patterson says, dinky do. Uh, so there we are. Yes, says Thomas Hamilton. Good, excellent stuff. Um, hiya, Scotty, says Christine Garvin. Hiya, Christine. Dinky do, Your Majesty, says John O'Rourke. I should think so, John O'Rourke. How amazing is that? Fantastic. You just joined us tonight. A very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, as well as being the world's most humble man. So there we are. Thanks, Scotty. Uh, no to the Apple order, says Christine Garvin. So there we are. Uh, you're doing great, says Dylan James Berry. I thank you, Dylan James Berry. Lovely to have you with us. Good evening, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Can, can see you and hear you, says Thomas Hamilton. Thank you, Thomas. That's marvellous. So there we are. We're getting everything going as much as possible. Now, last night we just did a pop-up, and uh, a few thousand of you saw that. Scotty. What's wrong with the orange walk? Everyone has their say, says Craig Patterson. Craig, absolutely. If you think there's nothing wrong with the orange walk, I'll tell you. What was interesting on Facebook yesterday is people were posing as, um, you know, they were saying these hate-filled marches. But all the hate seemed to be coming from the people who didn't want the orangemen to walk. So that was quite interesting from that point of view. Uh, right, let's have your calls, guys. On you come and uh, give us all the chit-chat. Tell us what you're thinking about. You're watching Scotty McClue, and as I say, this is the big one. Now, we're only here for one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment. So there you are. We have share points as well. We share, 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 share. Um, Arlene Foster um, looks... Like the Orange Watch, she should lead, should be fun to watch. So there we are. We shall see. Absolutely. So there we are. Yes, there's talk of uh, Ireland's First Minister leading an Orange Walk. Quite interesting. I'm just wondering, though, if we should have lots more parades, turn it into a much more fun event. And uh, maybe a Bannockburn Day. Stuff like that. Culloden Day. So we, we could have all these things. Trafalgar Day. Uh, looks a bit busy with all the cameras, Scotty. Uh, what are you actually getting then? Tell me what you're getting, um, because I can't see. Are you not just getting one camera, right? That's what we should be getting. Uh, so, uh, so see what's what. But if it's too busy, then we can always 
change one over and get another one on. Now, guys, tell ten, to tell ten, to tell ten, to tell ten about Scotty McClure live. Hi, Scotty, you're awesome, says Debbie Sapphire Thomas. Debbie Sapphire Thomas, so are you. I say, well, Scotty, what about your day, says Craig Patterson. I have had the most amazing day. Just going to have a little bit of personal care. It's uh, roasting hot in the studio, as you can well imagine. And we've got the big lights on tonight for the extra cameras. McClure's Pies Day. You read my comment wrong, says Tony Richardson. No, I think I just missed out a mention of something, Tony, that uh, that I was best not to mention. So there you are. We have to do a little bit of on-air editing sometimes. What about this weather, says Christine Garvin. Fantastic. 53% of the world are not religious. We are evolving, says John Arook. Yeah, but listen, 53%, uh, if you think there's 4.8 billion people in the world, is that right? And I think about 3 billion are religious. But remember that religion has never, ever, ever caused a problem. So there you go. Uh, I can tell you that. Hi, Scotty. Greetings. Good to see you, big man, says Lisa Wallace. Dinky do, Lisa. Lovely to have you with us. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue that we are live. And also, can we get some sharing going? Very, very important. So share the broadcast as much as you possibly can. Uh, Scotty, rather not Scott. Ha ha, says Dee Gourley. What does that mean? I don't know where you're coming from there, Dee. We have marching carnival display bands here in Wales, says Julianne Scott. You've got the, the majorettes. I used to call them the masonettes. But you've got the majorettes twirling their sticks. So there we are. But I think that's slightly different from the orange band. D, he's always been Scotty, says Christine Garvin. Absolutely. John Scott McClure. Scotty, should the SNP use their mandate for Indy 2 either this year or next spring? Martin Monaghan, I think they should actually. Somebody was telling me that 72% of Scots now want independence because of Brexit. So it's definitely a goer. And um, I think it's something we should try. I say, look, we're only looking at self-administration here and getting to keep our own cash. Now, Margaret Thatcher asset stripped Scotland and took all the money to London. So there's a lot of money due back to Scotland and the Scots. And that's what we'd like to see. Hi, Scotty, I love your show, dinky do, says Debbie Craw. Debbie Craw, lovely to have you with us. Scotty. Um, good evening, Mr. McClure. That's me checking in. I'm sure you'll conduct your usually high entertaining show. Carry on, old chap, says Douglas McPherson. Douglas McPherson, I thank you for the mandate to carry on with the Scotty McClure show. Carry on, men. There we are. In my previous comment, I said Scott instead of Scotty. Autocorrect is a pain. Yes, I've got that. Is it that predictive text? I had to turn the flaming thing off. It was just an absolute nightmare. So there we go. Uh, Ian Whitelaw, dinky do, come and join us. What have we got here? Religion itself doesn't cause a problem, but people's interpretations of it, they can use it for bad or good, said Debbie Sapphire Thomas. Absolutely. Uh, religion divides the people. They want to, to seeing each other as different, so we're easier to control. Now, Mark McGee, you've raised a very, very interesting point here. William Pitt was very, very concerned that the whole of Ireland might actually get together, come together. Working people, aristocrats, the whole lot. If you were Irish, there was a chance you were going to come together in William Pitt's day. And somebody said to him, Mr. Pitt, how are you going to control the people in Ireland if they all get together? They will be so powerful. And he said, I will use the Orange Lodge. I shall divide and rule. So there you are. So I was thinking about the Orange Lodge. Um, if you've got an Orange Lodge in Scotland, and remember they are just supporters of the Crown and the Bible. If you've got an Orange Lodge in Scotland, should they not be flying the Sol Tyre? rather than the Union flag, because they're also representative of the Scottish crown. Remember, the two crowns are united. So there we are. Uh, Scotty, Maggie Thatcher made the working man poor. Yes, she did, Craig Patterson. So there we are. Uh, you're absolutely right. So there is quite a bit of divide and rule. 
There we are. I'm being invited to go live with somebody here. How amazing is that? Do you know the Doug's watching? Hi, Scotty. Scottish church figures have been continually dwindling over the last decade or two. I also want to let people know that you are an indie supporter, and I've always said we'd be economically... I can't see the rest, Ian Johnson, to be quite honest with you. So there we are. I've got two devices running. Scotty, please give a shout out to Halfi Angela Jean Riddell. Halfi Angela Jean Riddell. A big shout out to you. And did you do for me, Scotty McClue? Uh, yes, she did, says Christine Garvin. Yes, she did. She robbed Scotland blind, asset stripped it. There was a young man called McClue. Taking Facebook by storm right now. Tune in for a bit. His show is lit. Thank you, Robert McHardy. I'm glad you're a, 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 a really good poet because uh, that could all have gone wrong. <laughs> now, uh, can we share, folks? Can we have share points at 15, at 30, at 45 and on the hour? We're only here for an hour. It's never, ever enough to uh, say everything we want to talk about. Uh, economically well of being independent. Yes, Ian Johnston, there's no doubt Scotland would absolutely blossom economically if we were independent. So there we are. Uh, thanks, Scotty. Now, please give a shout out to Nadia Johnston from Righeads House Society, says Harry Dollis. Right, Harry Dollis, lots of shout outs for you. Uh, well said, Ian, says Christine Garvin. Debbie Craw, thumbs up, absolutely. There's uh, Anne Ingalls wanting a wee wave. Hello, Anne. I'll have to give you one of these waves. So there you go. Hello, says Bernadette. Religion is just manufactured to keep the people in their place. Tony Richardson, I can see where you're coming from, but remember that Protestants and Catholics are the same religion, right? They're the same religion. They share a religion. They are just different denominations of the same religion. So there we are. And uh, all the best, says Paul Dalen. What we were talking about tonight was the existence of God. You see, so that's slightly different from organized religion itself. God himself, marvelous. Uh, hi, how's you? This is Neil Hallgate. Please give a shout out to Jadwiga Klamut from Carlisle. Yes, absolutely, Harry Dollars. Dinky do to everybody in Carlisle. Like Shia and Sonny, aye, says John O'Rourke. No, they're actually the same. Well, I see what you mean. Yes, I see where you're coming from there, John O'Rourke. Interesting. Yes, Sonny with uh, two N's and an I. Good for you. Excellent. Somebody's corrected it there. John's corrected it himself. Any news about going more than once a week, says Steve Burroughs. Scotty, I used to listen to you all the time a while ago. Absolutely amazing, says Bernadette Riley. Dinky do, Bernadette. But what about all the priests? What they've done in the past, Scotty, says Craig Patterson. Now, Craig, what you're talking about here is human failure. You're not actually talking about religion and you're not actually talking about God. You're talking about human failure from poor souls and also people who may have entered into that profession with more than uh, the right idea. If you get my meaning. So there you are. Uh, there were dodgy characters in the first place. But that should all have been rooted out, I say. Can I have more hearts and minds and souls, please? Souls, since we're talking religion. So uh, tap, 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 tap. Thumbs up, hearts, all that, guys. And can we have a share right now? We're well past our share time. So can everybody share to all your groups, all your people on Facebook, all your friends. Tell them Scotty McClue is live new right very very important scotty mcclue is live new uh, nick baldy good evening to you biggin are you still on the radio says paul Daylon. no not at the moment but we're having very high level talks with a lot of radio bosses because radio is struggling and for some reason every single media mogul would love to have scotty mcclue but they don't know how to go about it they don't realize it's the question of footing me up Hail, hail, Scotty. Great show, says Brian Fairley. Julianne Scott, dinky do. She gives us a lovely. James Ridley's waving. Hello, James Ridley, dinky do. We're waving back to you. How marvelous is that? Now, last night we did a pop up to check equipment. Please let me know how the equipment's holding up. Let me know what you're seeing. Give me some feedback here. Scotty, do you think the whole of the UK should get a vote whether the UK breaks up? What I will say to you, um, Paul Smith, 
is that um, so much of England wishes that they were being governed by the SNP because Scotland is miles and miles ahead politically with our devolved government. Now, obviously, their hands are tied a bit. For instance, if there's UK cuts, the SNP has to make the cuts. If there's UK austerity, the SNP has to be austere. But they're still doing pretty marvellous things with what they've got. And that I find amazing. Uh, talking of doing marvellous things with what you've got, Scott of a clue accepts applause or derision on his merits. So if any of you are feeling flush and you can spare a couple of quid, go on to Scotty McClure's website and you'll see uh, GoFundMe and PayPal. And you can stick a couple of quid into there. This allows me to buy little bits of equipment, guys. And it also allows me to do some advertising. Because uh, um, I'm absolutely um, maxed out when it comes to backing social media. I've spent, obviously, as you guys know, hundreds of thousands of pounds to bring you radio in Scotland. Uh, so there we are. Are you still on the radio? Not at the moment, Paul. Hi, Scotty. Are you not roasting in your bonnet tonight? Says Ben Fasachale. Uh, Fit like men, Fay Peter here, Stuart Main, oh Stuart Main, it's bra to have you on the show, and it's all going nae too bad, uh, we've got a good kern of folk in the night, so quite a good kern of folk, and uh, it's all going just bra, so there we are, lovely TV here for you, Fay Peter Heed, uh, and uh, what about the broch, and the bucky, and the bombs. Yes, nice clear picture and sound, Scotty, says D. Gurley. Excellent. Uh, still saving for that private jet, Scotty, so you can reach the masses and touch the souls. Gavin Scott Bart, I have to say I would miss all my friends on the EasyJet flights. I don't think they'll mind a wee advert. I usually fly EasyJet because it's tremendous. Once you get into their system and you don't cheek up to them and things like that, you have a great flight. And I meet such interesting people because I'm not wanting fancy flights with big meals and all that stuff. I'm just really wanting to get from A to B. So there we go. So private jet. Yes, did you see that? The evangelist guy looking for a private jet. I think he had three already and it cost £54 million. Pounds. So I said, Scotty McClure, somebody had said, Scotty McClure is looking for a new bonnet. So I put in £20. Pounds. Either GoFundMe or PayPal will get Scotty McClure a new bonnet. Uh, so there we are. Now, who else have we got? Um, oh, can see your pus says Christine Garvin. Absolutely, Christine, yes. You will be able to see my pus. Now, time for more sharing. Come on, guys. Share, 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 share. Very, very important. And uh, let's have your comments. What do you think about Orange Walks? All right. Now, I prefer a program like this to typing on Facebook. It really frustrates me having an argument with somebody on Facebook because I have to type it. I would rather we talked it, you know. And I think that's important. Great picture and sound, says Susan Forrest. Is it the best picture and sound we've had on a Sunday night yet? Do please tell me. Um, glad you got that sneaky reference to the evangelist there, says Gavin Scott. But yes, the evangelist is looking for money. We've done it, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. He's shared. Has everybody shared? Tell Ten, say, are you watching Scotty McClue? More hearts, please. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Uh, Martin says, Scotty, what about a classic Scottish mystery section of the show? featuring several interesting stories. Well, I'll tell you an interesting story since you've asked, right? Have you heard of Flannan Isle? Now, I think it was about 1904, and there were uh, three lighthouse keepers on Flannan Isle, and it was time for them to uh, replace the keepers to uh, let the others come on shore. So the, um, the boat from... Um, what would she be from? Should be from, um, oh, uh, the Lights House Society. Oh, for goodness sake. I should remember it. But anyway, uh, would it be the Northern Lighthouse Board or something? Yes, Northern Lighthouses uh, based in Edinburgh. Because Stevenson, Robert Louis Stevenson's cousin, had built lighthouses. Tremendous stuff. And um, they went to, oh, hold on a minute. Can you like my Facebook Livingston Station? Dean's, you'll be the most famous person on it. This is Gordon Drysdale. I know Dean's. 
It's all roundabouts. There's the Dean's roundabout and the Lizzie Bryce. Do you know the Lizzie Bryce? So there you are. Hi, buddy. How are you keeping, says Andrew Somerville? Yes, it's the best so far, says Susan Morris. Excellent. Thank you, Susan. Uh, orange walks aren't that bad. Freedom of speech and all that. I draw the line at violent extremist demos, though. I deport the whole rotten bunch if they're um, migrants, immigrants from abroad. Now, Gavin Scott Burt, that's a little bit on the xenophobic side, don't you just think, right? Because we're all from abroad. We're all Africans. Every single one of us is an African. There you are. Scotty, what's your secret? You've never changed in 20 years. You're still looking good, says Debbie Craw. I thank you, Debbie Craw. What a lovely thing to say. Nobody's ever said that to me. The clock lighthouse is Bonnie, says John O'Rourke. Yes, indeed. Uh, Scotty, it's mess Scotland's messed up. You won't get all the people off the sick. What do you think? Scotland is messed up. They won't get all the people off the sick. What do you think? Chris Martin, I think you have to ask me that again because I'm not actually sure what you've said there. Just going to have a quick bit of personal care. Quick note down and we'll let you know what is hot. Oh, 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 it's roasting hot in here tonight. I'll have to remember to give you a tune as well. We've got the organ here so we can manage a tune for you as well. I have no doubt. Now, I was telling you about Flannan Island. So the lighthouse keeper, so when the Northern Lighthouse Board de Vessel arrived, I can't remember her name, and she blew her hooter to let them know that she'd arrived. And nobody came down. And eventually they went up there and there was nobody to be seen. They disappeared. So I'll tell you. So Alba Gabrach says uh, Neil McWilliam. Yes, absolutely Neil, but of course what we want is an independent United Scotland under the crown. Uh, we need the Double O, like a hole in the head, a bit like that knock on the door at the weekend. The Jehovah's or the Mormons stop pushing it. Uh, well said. Disgusting xenophobe then, Scotty. Says Ian Johnson. Yes, absolutely, Ian. We do not want any xenophobia on here. I don't like the orange walk. It wakes my kids up when they walk past my house, says Frank Gallagher. I remember a lady on, and she was a devout Catholic, said, Scotty, let the orangemen walk. We used to discuss this on the radio. People said, you don't discuss religion, you don't discuss football. We always discussed everything. Uh, the Crown. Hell no, a republic. No, Neil McWilliam, you've got to listen to common sense here. This is not a preference, right? Everything in this country is by royal assent. Every bill does not become an act unless it gets the royal assent. All right. So everything goes through the crown, including Scottish independence, including the Scottish government, including the first minister's warrants or papers or mandate to govern. All right. Now, the crown is not connected with the parliaments. The crowns came together in 1603. The parliaments didn't come together until 1707. An orange walk is a legalised breach of the peace, says John O'Rourke. Interesting thought, John O'Rourke. So there you are. So, Scottish independence will never, ever, ever, ever happen without royal assent. We need the royal family on side and fully respected in Scotland. Then you can move forward with independence. All right? So there we are, the OO, oh, the Orange Order. Ah, right, the OO, oh, oh, I'm with you now. Sorry about that. I was always a bit slow off the mark, not like Scotty McClure, to miss out the double O there. The people of Scotland are sovereign, yes, but so is the Crown. The Crown is sovereign. The Queen is our sovereign lady, Neil. There's nothing we can do to change that, and we wouldn't want to anyway. Uh, because they're all family, I'll tell you all about that, the benefits. So there you go. Evening, Scotty. A bit late, but I'm here now. This is Michael Paul McVeigh. You are Michael Paul McVeigh. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, if you've just joined us, I haven't told you for a while. Some of you will be wondering what's going on. It's Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, broadcasting live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. Dinky do. Scrap the orange walks, says Rab Hill. You're better off with a game of bingo. Well, you're speaking for yourself there, Rap. No, no. 
All they want is our money, says Christine Gavin. No, 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 no. They bring us in money. I had every idiot under the sun on my Facebook at the time of the royal wedding saying, Ah, oh, waste of money this, waste of money, waste of money. In actual fact, it already has brought in ten times what it costs. Fantastic. So there you are. Wonderful stuff. Royal family, tremendous. Wouldn't hear a word against them. They cost us about uh, between 55 and 62 pence a year. Nothing, absolutely nothing. And of course, they are the curators of the crown and of our national assets. So there you are. Uh, that's telling you. Uh, who have we got here? Oh my goodness me. There must be so many comments. I have missed you. What? Oh my goodness, what have I done? Right, Scotty. Yes, George Finlay says, whoo. George Finlay then changes that to hi. Hi, George. Dig he do. Fit like my loons, says Robert McCarney. And uh, Jerry McGurk. Uh, so there we are. What we'll do with you? Jerry McGurk's a wee bit cheeky. He's calling me ugly. So I think we'll... Um, yes, what we'll do with Jerry, we'll just uh, delete him. So there you are. So Jerry, you, you won't be heard of again. You know, Scott, it's only colours that divide us, mate, says Craig Patterson. Absolutely. But do not be divided, I say. There shouldn't be division. Is this the guy who had the wee talking bin... As a sidekick, says Scott Kenmuir. Scotty, God save the Queen, says Craig Patterson. Absolutely. GSTQ. Say hi to Andy Gilmer, says Tony Richardson. Robin Galloway, says uh, Scott Kenmuir. Dinky do, fine fellow. There we are, used to work with Robin. Tremendous stuff. I'm an atheist, each to their own Scotty. A uh, guy I met recently. Um, our lol event, enough hatred in this world. Uh, what about the person that was FaceTiming you? Says Rab Hill. Yes, absolutely. I'm an atheist. Uh, hello, sir. Thank you for your birthday messages, says James Bauer. Not at all, James. An absolute privilege. Lovely to know you. Scotty, you're a hero, says Paul Whiteman. <laughs> Don't know about that, but dinky do. Lovely to be with you. And we are, of course, the world's top broadcaster. Every single organization that broadcasts would love to have Scotty McClue for these figures. Do you know, I'll tell you, I won't name him. I won't be so base as to name him. But a national broadcaster on a talk radio station last week had 900, I think it was 932 or 923. I keep getting the second bit mixed up. Anyway, it was just upwards of 900 people watching him on Facebook. Scotty McClue had over 14,000. Now, that says it all, doesn't it? Now, at one point, I actually asked these talk stations, I said, why don't you put Scotty McClure on your station? Oh, well, we're trying out some other things. Oh, and of course, disaster, absolute, 100% down the plug hole, so I don't bother now. Uh, there we are. The audience here is absolutely massive. A uh, wet, says Rab Hill. Good point, Rab, says Christine Gavin. Hello, sir. Thank you for the birthday messages, James. That's right. That's where we got up to here. The pride of Govan Footband, says Alan Mackay. So there we are. George Finlay. Um, what's that? We are the people, he says. So there you are. Scotty, get the bonnet off. It's far too hot. The bonnet can never come off. I'm going to say, you don't want me to undress live in front of everybody. The whole world's watching. Oh, there we go. Right, more sharing, guys. Spread the word. Come on, we're late with the share. Share, 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 share. And, <coughs> pardon me, can I have some uh, hearts and some thumbs up? Hearts and thumbs up. Dinky do. I'll play your tune in a minute if you're good. Correct my spelling, says Christine Garvin. Absolutely, Christine. So there we are. Just going to move up here, guys. Uh, Sean Kelly's with us. Lovely to have you with us, Sean. And Dinky Do, I say. Uh, no surrender, Scotty, says Rebecca. Yeah, but what does that actually mean, Rebecca? I quizzed a few orange people on what their faith was about, and they were struggling with some of the things. So there you are. And I only know that as a historian and one who is very, very knowledgeable about things, you know, just through to the fact that that's why I do. I'm not being a smarty pants. I do have an IQ of 164, but I'm not being a smarty pants here. 
I do make sure I know about all these things. I had a guy tonight trying to tell me that if it's on the internet, it's true. I mean, what an absolute pile, you know what I mean? Amazing. So there we are. Um, yes, you can correct your spelling, no problem at all. Right, who have I got here? Guys, we just joined us, Thomas Hamilton, thank you for that. That is absolutely fabulous. And uh, who else have we got? We can pin that comment, Thomas Hamilton. Shall we pin you to the top? I think we'll pin that comment. That's amazing. Right, uh, what have we got here? We all have the same blood running through us, no matter what religion or colour. Uh, we are how we are, rich or poor. Well, I remember a guy saying to me, he said, that guy over there, I think you'll find his wallet's a bit bigger than yours, Scotty. I said, no, but our graves will be the same size. <laughs> there you are. Uh, they still think they're at war with the papacy, apparently. Well, I would actually adopt the whole thing. I would like to see um, the green march marching with the orange march, the orange and the green. So, well, maybe we should have people dressed in orange and people dressed in green and people dressed in white. So there we are. What about that? Um, well said, Debbie, says Rabbi. Absolutely. Yes, race, creed, or colour. The human race, and we're all members. Yeah, I can tell you that. Scotty, where is your cheese box? So Michael Paul McVeigh. I think I have it here. I'm trying to pin this comment. Thomas Hamilton's. It's a lovely, lovely comment. There, are. there it is. It's pinned. So I think we've probably pinned it. Have I done it? Pin. Pin. Excellent. Right. That, that's that. Looking off his sweaty with that butter on, Scotty. Says so Brian. Bing. Thank you. Brian, what a lovely thing to say. There we are. Oh. Remember my friend at Glasgow Fair, when Glasgow Fair, the, you know, went down to Rothsey and things like that. It was at a dance and, uh, you know, he, he went up and he said to this girl, he said, may I have this dance? And she said, no, dance with her. I'm all sweaty. <laughs> so there we are. Thomas Hall, dinky do. I see. It is hot in the studio. I'm not making light of that fact. Green and orange is just not in this year. Hell would freeze before that would happen, says Christine Garvin. I don't know. I was talking about football and I was saying, why don't we get everybody in Glasgow standing together at the football? The Scousers do it. And perhaps even unite Celtic and Rangers and have Glasgow United. There we are. Um, that's better. Uh, I had to do the same myself, minus the bonnet, says Brian Rapmikin. Get the bonnet off, let your hair blow in the wind, says Rab Hill. Rab Hill, don't be ridiculous, look. No hair to blow in the wind. All right, so there you go. Uh, so that's gone. Well said, says David Arthur. Hi, Scotty, how's it cutting, my old young pal? Says Frank Crombie, dinky do, Frank. Right, guys, more sharing, share, 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 share. I used to listen to you years ago, I think it was QFM, the way you dealt with all the maddies coming on was brilliant, says Brian McMicken. We will be back doing all these things on radio very soon because radio bosses are getting a little bit spooked that uh, they're not carrying the weight they used to carry and McClue can get himself 14,000 people when they can get 923 on a Facebook Live page. Scotty, we all come into this world bare bodied and leave the same, says Michael Paul McVeigh. Speak for yourself, Michael Paul McVeigh. I'm going to get my suit on. Uh, so there you are. And that's what's happening there. Who else have we got? No chance of Celtic standing with them, says Murray Sharp. Why not, Murray? There's only one Celtic, says Steve Burrows. Yeah, but should we change Celtic Rangers to Glasgow United, right? Ask yourselves about that. Very important. Who was talking about the squeeze box? I think it's time for a wee, oh, pardon me, a wee tune on the squeeze box. There we are, we'll see what we can do for you. Um, yes, that's what I say. Right, we've got the squeeze box. What would you like? Oh, I have to move back a wee bit, actually get a bit of space.
We'll get now where a baron's there on the squeeze box for all of you by Scotty McClue, Dinky Doo, live on Facebook Live. Scotty, we all, oh yes, we got that one. So what's the topic on the night? Number one, live, live, live. So Brian McMeekin, Brian McMeekin, you should have joined us. We're talking about orange walks tonight. We're talking about religion. We're talking about the existence of God. So excellent. Right, Scotty, play the nut brown maiden, says Derek Miller. Uh, Donald Wish of Truth, says Brian McMeekin. Hope you do go back on radio. Used to love it until I asked for a dance song and you played Danny Boy. It kind of killed the night. Oh, maybe for you, Debbie Craw, but not for anybody else who loves Danny Boy. You banks and braves, says Dave Rendell. Bonnie Banks of Loch Lomond. Woof, says Michael. Uh, sorry, Brian. Now we can just below Michael Paul McVeigh there, the Bonnie Banks of Loch Lomond. Scotty, keep practicing the squeeze box, says Craig Patterson. I will, I will. Well played, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Play something nice. The sash, please, says Rebecca Calder. Saturday not. Are you trying to get us closed down? So there we are. Marvellous, marvellous. All the wee ballads there. Uh, so there we go. And uh, yes. Play something nice. Well, we did that. We did that, Thomas Hamilton. Uh, quite right. The night with Britain's Got Talent on the box, says Frank Crumbly. Now, uh, can I have more sharing, please? Tell, 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 tell about Scotty McClure. But we are, of course, live on Facebook Live just for you. Dinky do. What do you think of the new equipment? Has the sound and vision been better tonight? I think that's important. If you just joined us, folks, no matter where you are in the world, you're watching Scotty Blue, the world's top broadcaster, the first one on the internet, the big one, the one everyone is talking about, the one everyone is watching. Uh, good discussion tonight. Um, now, what I loved it, it's Christine Garvin. The last three shows, what has been happening, my friend, says Alistair King. Alistair King, you'll get them on uh, Facebook and you'll get them on YouTube. So, no matter, this is show number 92. Can you believe 92 shows since I first clicked that little icon? The Penny Arcade. Hello, says Willie K. Hello, Willie K. Uh, so, there we go. Ben Fasakli, Orange Walk shouldn't be anywhere near housing schemes. The sole purpose is to antagonize characters. I wouldn't ban them, but I designate a field somewhere. So there we are. Well, of course, they're walking their borders, aren't they? That's what they're saying. Get the old Sydney Divine Tiny Bubbles. Yes, excellent stuff. Try reading the... It's all to do with the Welsh. Try reading the Mabinigan. Mabinigan? Scotty, it's all to do with Welsh mythology. Oh, Julianne Scott, Welsh mythology. Gellert. So you have Gellert. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Absolutely. Video is intermittent. It looks like a latency issue with your broadband. Well, Brian McMeekin, I've got the other top of the range broadband. The, one of the devices is elderly. The other bang up to date. So there might be a compatibility problem. Hi, Scotty. I've just popped on to say hi. But I'd like, I've got to go to the kids. Uh, take them to school tomorrow. So good night, says Frank Gallagher. Good night, Frank. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Never miss a moment of Scotty McClue, or you miss a moment of life. Whoever has McClue has the market. Uh, so there we are. Come on, Scotty, the nut brown maiden on the squeeze box. I have to go, Scotty. My phone's dying. This is Christine Gavin of Fort Kisses. Love you, Christine. Take care. Bye. So there we are. Close, Scotty. Yes, excellent. It is close. The nut brown maid in the fuse box, for goodness sake. It's not really a request show. I'll try it. I mean, I've never tried it before, so I don't know if I could play it. Um. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. 
Right, yes, Deborah. No star, Scotty says Julianne Scott down in Wales. No star, no star, Julie. There's, uh, who else have we got? Gordon Sterling's hiding that dinky do. A lot of interference this live, Scotty. I'm missing half the talking, says Alistair King. It just depends which one we're on, Alistair. I'll have to work it out. We will get there. We will show 92. And uh, if you've got some pennies you can spare anybody a couple of pounds, go to Scotty McLean's website, www.scotty.com, and uh, just donate them. They're both. Both 100% secure. You can use your cards, use your debit cards, and you'll see GoFundMe, PayPal. You want to stick a fiver in there or something like that? That would be tremendous. Somebody gives a hundred pounds, and I can do huge things with small money, as you all well know. Uh, so there we are. What else? Have I got? Can you do a wee bit Spanish? Um, for my workmates here in Miami. Muchas gracias. Hola. See, sí, there we are. Uh, what is your belief on the Orange Wops and Murray Shot? Well, it's a piece of traditional history, Murray Shot. I wouldn't like anybody to be offended by it. And I think the Orange themselves, uh, you know, the Crown and the Bible. What I would like to see in Scotland is the use of the Saltar rather than the Union flag. Because obviously there's no such country as Britain as such. It's an amalgam of four countries. So there we are. Uh, no danger, you're still alive, says John Brannigan. Excellent stuff. Scotty, are you short of a bob? Thomas Hall, what happens is I missed so much of my savings in, uh, in Rio for Scotland over the years. So there you go. So all my money went into radio. And uh, one person was actually taking some of it as well. Very, very naughty. So there we are. But my money went all went into radio. Um, and and uh, what trying to do is build up the show for Scotland, for the people of Scotland. But uh, as I say, with little bits of money we can do um, advertising and we can buy little bits of equipment, improve the vision and sound. So from that point, it would be Thomas Hall, yes. Uh, God and Elric Dingadoo, lovely to have you with us. And uh, we'll just see what's happening. How's the time going, guys? My goodness, I've got on here, it's about 10 to We'll maybe give you a wee tune on the organ shortly. Time for another quick walk down in a minute. Do not dash off. Ah, we have lots to discuss. So we've been talking for the first part of the show tonight here about um, religion, about orange walks. Should orange be allowed to walk? And do feel free to come on. You're breaking up, Scotty, says Gordon Drysdale. Oh, my goodness me, you're breaking up. It's hard to do, I've always said. And Wadge has joined us. Hi, Wadge. Dink do. Lovely to have you with us. Come and join us. Now, can we have sharing all the time? And where's the hearts? And come on. Come on. Tap, 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 tap. Ian John says, by all means, discuss the Growth Commission report. Best remember whilst doing it, it may harm a cause if not done responsibly. <coughs> You'll never harm the cause of independence, to be honest. All you need to do is make sure that you don't miss the royal family. Very, very important there. Dinky do, Scotty, says Wash. Dinky do, Wash. Lovely to have you with us. We haven't heard from you for some time. Would that be correct? So there you are. Maybe you've had th things to Wash, I say. And guys, keep sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing. Very, very important. You're watching Scotty McClue. Yes, it's going a little bit slow. I can see that. But you're watching Scotty McClue and we are live. If it does fade, then we'll come back with you, so don't worry about that. Just very, very busy. Don't worry, Scotty, there's always the food bank if you're skint, says Mark McGee. Yeah, but Mark, we're not actually talking about that. We're talking about um, building up the show here. Uh, still, still, real Scotty McClure. John Brannigan, where have I ever ripped anybody? Make your own radio station. It can't be that hard. A wee sneaky one, says Riddle. Rab. We did that. We're on the internet for a long, long time. Very, very successful. So there you are. And uh, I mean, did you see my previous comments, Scotty? I read Brian. I might have missed it. I've got so many comments here coming at me right, left, and center. How amazing is that? Hello, Mr. Scotty. I've not heard your voice for years. Says Harry Miller. Dinky do, Harry. Let me have you with us as well. Um, lots of comments. Years on the radio. Ha ha ha. Too funny, says Harry Miller. Absolutely. You ripped people 
people every Friday for years. This is John Brannigan. John Brannigan, I was on five this week. It's just you were watching on the Friday. There we are. Is my tie slipping here? I don't want to be scruffy in front of my audience. How you dress is a mark of who you're going to see. <laughs> so there we are. Yes, Flannan Island. So I was telling you the story of Flannan Island. So look it up. Three lighthouse keepers went missing. What could have happened to them? All right. Uh, auction your bonnet, Scotty. Uh, Scotty, the air is awful, says Thomas Hall. Well, wait to do that. Is that is it gone now, Thomas Hall? There's no echo now, right? So there you are. It might just be your equipment, Thomas. So maybe if you turn down your volume, it might be a little bit better. Um, how's it doing for everybody else? Give us some feedback on the new equipment. Some people said this is the best ever. Do tell us what you think. Very, very important. Uh, I like your time, oh, Thomas. Thanks very much. Not all walks are orange walks. Some are apprentice boys' parades. The Royal Blacks, etc. They're not all the same as Irene Junior. Right, Irene, fair enough. So there we are. Maybe we need to hear more about that. Uh, two Bob in a Balloon, says Bruce Summers. Absolutely, we've done Two Bob in a Balloon for many years, Bruce. So there we are. Perhaps now it's time to see if we can get the equipment built and get the actual strengthened. We're also talking about streaming on YouTube. Scotty, what about the working mothers? Says Derek Miller. I'll tell you what I did think the other day. I was hearing them say, need more women in the boardrooms of business. Businesses were giving excuse. But the whole thing is, business does not rely on gender. It relies on me. So if you've got somebody with a lot of ability, fair enough, I understand that. All right? You're sounding like Norman Collier, says Tony Richardson. Ah, yes. Well, we maybe just everybody's piled on tonight. Good evening, dinky do to you, Scotty. The lighthouse light went out to Rab Hill. It did rab, and there was a guy paid on the mainland to keep an eye and to phone Edinburgh, to phone the lighthouse board, the northern lighthouse board, if the light ever went out and he didn't notice it. So there we are, but we still don't know what happened to the keepers. Uh, there's three McLeans now, says Thomas Hall. Uh, stuttering a bit on the video, says Eddie Doby Sr. Uh, there we are. I wonder if which one we're talking about, Eddie Doby. Um, are you stuttering on that one? Yes. Or are you stuttering on that one? Right. That's what we need to know. The first one or the second one. Because I was watching Scotty sort the sound out. The sound should be fine. So it might actually be your equipment. Uh, there we are. Anybody else getting problems with sound or vision? Do let me know. Very, very important. Happy days. I'm trying to tune in and see your class in a glass and um, sound good vision not the best says harry miller right hey uh, yes it's all well good scotty says thomas uh, vision not so good says thomas again harry miller as uh, the first one right so thomas with the first one so if i do that right are you still getting me loud and clear on the other one right very very important do let me know um you're watching scotty mcclure guys the second one says eddie so there we are. That one, Eddie. If I move that, right, is that the one that's a bit staggery? Yeah? Yes, the one I just moved. Is that a little bit staggery? Yes? And if I look at that one, is that one less? Is that one absolutely better? So there we are. Do let us know. Keep up the good work, my friend. You're a legend. Mark Hunter. Hashtag legend. Lagging here, says Johnson. I think it's just getting very busy, Ian, because we have been on... Not that it should matter, but we have been online now for um, a good time. In fact, it's just about time to go. Uh, so there we are. Sounds a wee bit stuttery, Scotty. Vision okay, sound not, says Tony Richardson. Excellent, right, we'll see you walking around. One more share. You're sounding uh, poor quality compared to normal, says Alistair King. Ah, interesting. I shall check that one out and we'll see what's what. Very, very good to have you all with me, of course. And uh, I'm just going to try something else. Just bear with me, guys. Can I try something else? Yes. Do not dash off. Um, I'm going to see if I can get something here. Oh, my goodness me. Right. Now, this might work. It might not. It might put us out of business. So there we are. Is that any better? Can I, you tell me? So there we go. Uh, because we've got to just try different things. 
Sometimes it's you better to try them live. Um, what have we got? Yes. Uh, the sound's a bit the picture's fine. The sound quality is Alistair King. How is that now? Is that absolutely any better? Or uh, have we got a problem? There we are. We shall see. Right. Guys, please. Sharing during the week, share, 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 no matter how fed up you get with stuff coming through from Scotty McClue, keep sharing, very, very important. Um, have you, night, right, I'll see you next Sunday, vision's not too bad, now so that looks a bit better, is that a bit better guys, Excellent stuff, right, right, and I'll sing you the song, and then I'll play you next, okay, are we ready? Scotty McClure has to go. Join us next week at the same time. Odd willing, weather permitting. Nine o'clock sharp. Sunday evenings. That's your Sunday evening sorted now. You're watching Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live. That is the big one. The one everyone's talking about. The one everyone is watching. So I'll see you all then. Thanks so much for your company. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. It's very, very much appreciated. Scott Ford said they'll never get them. Absolutely not, Scott. We have to tell the nation like it is. Maybe the lighthouse keepers are working in Pound's house. There's a guy up my way, swears. There's a guy in the chip shop, swears he's Elvis. So there you are. Gary Ross used to listen to you uh, in HMP in the 90s. Wow. Glad you're out and about, Gary. All the best. I send you strength, chum. Right. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody. And Goodbye, everybody of Winter Zane or Bark and the TV. I'll play us out. Are you ready? Lovely to have you with us. Take care of yourselves. Everybody has left the building. Oh.